Kaushika Patel, Assistant Professor from the Department of Pharmaceutical Technology. I welcome you to the MOOC series, an initiative taken by LJ Institute of Pharmacy, Ahmedabad. In this session, we are going to discuss about the different approaches to design controlled release drug delivery system. Now, controlled release drug delivery system is the one where the drug is delivered at the predetermined rate for the predetermined period of time at a proper site of action. So how to achieve this objective? For that, the different mechanisms which are possible that we are going to discuss in this part, whereas the different systems which can be used to achieve that mechanism that we are going to discuss in part two. Okay. So, uh, different approaches, okay, which are possible is rate program drug delivery system, stimuli activated drug delivery system, or site targeted drug delivery system. Okay, you can go for any of this programmed mechanism for controlled release of the formulation. Okay, this is the technical designing of the formulation. Okay, other option is you can change the route of administration, but if you want to go only for oral route, your route of administration is fixed, then you can design the formulation in this three, in, by these three modes. Now, when you are selecting rate program drug delivery system, that means you are determining the release rate, you are modifying the release rate of the formulation. Okay, that can be done in three ways. Either you can have dissolution control system, you can have diffusion control system or you can have erosion control system. Okay. In this dissolution control system, you can control the dissolution rate of drug or polymer. In diffusion control system, you can have metric system or reservoir system. And in erosion control, you can have bulk erosion or surface erosion. Combination of two or all the three of the um, approaches is also possible okay now to achieve any of this mechanism you can have metric system or hybrid system or reservoir system okay this we are going to discuss in part two okay now they are regarding the different mechanisms the first one that is dissolution control drug delivery system okay so now either you can control the dissolution rate of the drug or that of the polymer okay now when you will go for first option when you have a drug you have a drug which is already having slow dissolution rate in that case the drug will dissolve gradually and it will release gradually so you don't need to add any other polymer or any other mechanism in the designing okay like Griseofalvin. or there are certain drugs which are in the salt form they convert into slow dissolving form after coming in contact with gastrointestinal fluid. Okay. In that case also you can go for this type of approach. But now if you have a drug which is belonging to the category of high aqueous solubility and dissolution rate like pentoxyphylin. And now you want to control its release from the formulation. Okay. Then you have to go for polymer dissolution control drug delivery system. Okay. In that you can go for either matrix system or you can go for reservoir system. Okay. In matrix system drug will be embedded into the matrix. And in reservoir system drug will be encapsulated. It will be surrounded by the polymer. Okay. Now, when you are forming matrix dissolution control system, okay, that is also known as monolithic system. So, you can see that this is a matrix, okay, this is a grid of polymer. Your drug will be entrapped or embedded within that drug, okay. And then through that dissolution of that polymer, the drug will be released gradually. The biggest disadvantage is if the designing is not just successful then the burst release the entire release of the drug can occur 
Second is the reservoir dissolution control system. Here you can see that the center portion core is the jar which is surrounded by coating of polymer. Okay. What are the major rate controlling factors here? Solubility. What is the solubility of the coat which you have applied? And what is the percentage weight gain? That is the thickness of the coat that you have applied on the core. This system is preferred for multi-particulate uh, formulations like pallets, uh, microcapsules, uh, mini tablets, and then they can be filled in the capsule. Okay. Whenever you are going for this polymer dissolution control system, you have to select a polymer that is slowly soluble and erodible. Okay. So, such examples of such polymers, you can go for hydrophobic polymer like ethyl cellulose, polymethacrylates, okay. You can go for waxes like glyc uh, glycerol monosteriate or you can go for hydrophilic polymers like all the cellulose, derivatives, natural gums, etc. Okay, so you can see that how this dissolution systems work. If you have a matrix system, then gradually that matrix will dissolve. Okay, there is gradual decrease in the size of the matrix. And whatever matrix dissolves, the drug particles present in that matrix are released. Okay, when you have reservoir system here, there you can have apply different uh, thickness coating on the multi-particles. Okay, that Whenever that coating will dissolve, then the drug particle entrapped in the core will be released. Okay. Now, second is the diffusion control drug delivery system. Here, the rate limiting step is the diffusion of the dissolved drug particles through the rate controlling element. Okay. So, here the rate limiting factor is the diffusion of the drug. Okay. That depending upon the mechanism, you can have matrix diffusion control system or you can have reservoir diffusion control system. In matrix, there will be a matrix in which the insoluble matrix in which the drug particles will be entrapped, like ethyl cellulose. Or you can have a matrix of water swellable polymer, hydrophilic polymers, and then gradually that uh, drug, whenever that uh, polymer will swell, pores will be formed and drug will diffuse out through that pores. Okay. Normally, in matrix system, the components are uh, mixed together and they are compressed into tablet. If you have reservoir diffusion control system, then it is very important that the surrounding coat must be water insoluble. Okay. And pores must be generated in that surrounding coat through which the drug can be released. So here you can see that in diffusion control system, in uh, both matrix, in diffusion control system, there is no decrease in the size. Okay. The size of the formulation remains same. The drug particles diffuse through the polymer, either through the matrix or through the reservoir. Third is the erosion control drug delivery system. What is erosion is the physical disintegration of the polymer, okay, which leads to loss of material. And that can occur by the enzymatic change, pH change, or osmotic pressure. Okay, so that external stimuli is used, so it is also known as stimuli activated drug delivery system. You have to use erodible materials like ethyl cellulose and different waxes can be used in this system. Okay, now the erosion can be surface erosion or bulk erosion. When you can see that when it is surface erosion, only the surface layer is eroded first. And then gradually, layer by layer, the, uh, layer uh, the polymer will erode and the drug will be released gradually. Okay. Such mechanism occurs when the fluid is not able to penetrate into the center of the polymer directly. Okay. So, only surface erodes. When polymer can enter in the bulk of the, when water can penetrate in the bulk of the polymer, then it the disintegrates uniformly throughout the entire system drug releases uniformly that is known as bulk erosion okay so this is a homogeneous system this is a heterogeneous system okay so the, all these three mechanisms or either of these two three mechanisms can be used in combination so you can have a matrix of drug and polymer okay 
and then you can coat it again with the polymer so there is control of the diffusion there is control of the dissolution and even if you use erodible polymer that can be control of erosion also okay so these are the different approaches which can be used to formulate a control release dosage form these are the frequently asked questions okay the remaining part that is a matrix and reserve system we will cover in the next video or the session okay thank you for watching the video for more updates like share and subscribe our youtube channel pharma ignite press bell icon for the notifications thank you and see you soon